Hi everyone, welcome back to our English video. I'm Si Hong, a teacher of English at Pretty New Generation High School. Today I will introduce you all to writing skill, which is mainly about discussing pros and cons. In this lesson, you will uh, get familiarized with the paragraph writing and essay writing. You will see the difference between the two. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to write a discursive essay using linking words. Plan and organize a note before writing tasks. Recognize the purpose of each paragraph and use linking words correctly. Before going directly to our today's lesson, let's check the homework you have done from the previous week. Do you still remember? Complete the following sentences with the correct form of that. We have uh, six exercises. So one, could you get me a can of coke when you are at the shop? Two, you are getting so sick from working so much, you need to get sleep. Three, what did you get for your birthday? Four, it's getting dark, better put the lights on. Five, I got an email from my sister in Canada this morning. Six, every two weeks in the summer, we get our lawn move. Okay, let's go to our today's lesson. Yeah, it is about how to write a pros and cons essay. What are the other words for pros and cons? Can you think about that a little bit? Yeah, we have advantages and disadvantages. Positive and negative points, benefits and drawbacks. For and again, we have more good and bad points, strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Let me introduce you all to essay organization. In this, you will see the difference between the paragraph and the essay. The paragraph consists of three main parts. The first one is topic sentence. The second one is supporting sentences. While the last one is concluding sentence. So the paragraph is likened to a small sandwich which uh, has three sections. I think you guys know uh, what a sandwich is. So paragraph is so similar to that. Whereas the essay uh, also has three main parts the introduction paragraph which includes general statement and CC statement and the body paragraph which uh, consists of a lot of topic sentences together with supporting sentence and concluding sentence sometimes you don't need a concluding sentence in the body paragraph of the essay and the last one is concluding paragraph you can give your final thought to your conclusion so you can see the difference between the paragraph and the essay the paragraph is likened to a 
small sandwich while the essay is like the big sandwich. The paragraph is a part of the essay. You can also say the, the essay is the boss and the paragraph is the employee or the subordinate. Okay, so when you uh, going to write the essay, you are going to be given a, a question. Let's uh, identify uh, the question first. What they want you to write? Uh, is it an opinion essay writing or is it a advantage and disadvantage essay writing? Let's see the question first. Identify the question clearly before you start uh, organize your notes. As you can see here, a lot of places in the world rely on tourism as a main source of income. This is a good point or advantage. Unfortunately, tourism can also be a source of problems if it is not managed correctly. So this is the disadvantage. And then you will see another question. Describe the, the advantages and disadvantages of tourism in the modern world. So this is a key you can uh, identify, oh, it is a pros and cons essay. So you start uh, planning your notes. Do you think that the benefits of tourism outweigh its drawback? Outweigh means uh, it's greater, greater. Uh, outperform, yeah. Do better than, okay. So before starting uh, this essay, you have to plan the advantages of tourism. Let's see how many advantages of tourism you can come up with and how many disadvantages of tourism you can come up with. So I have three advantages here. The first one is Boost in countries' economy due to increased spending and new jobs opening for local people and opportunities to discover new places for individual travelers. How about these advantages of tourism? Yeah. Extraction of popular tourist destination by large numbers of tourists. Development of illegal economic activities. And local people can experience loss of privacy. So before start uh, in your essay, you have to plan like this first. List the point of the advantages are the topic given and disadvantages of the topic given. And then let's see the structure of the S pros and cons essay. So the first the section is introduction. What should you include in introduction? And the second one body paragraph one. Uh, which is about advantages and in this body paragraph one you can write at least three or two uh, advantages as much as possible and the more the better number three the body paragraph two you are going to talk about these advantages okay and the last section is conclusion. 
All right, let's move to the pros and cons as a structure in detail. The first part, introduction. What should be included in the introduction? Yeah, two sentences. Sentence one, just paraphrase the question or restate the problem of the topic given. You can see the example here for a while. And in the sentence two of the introduction, just tell the examiner what you are going to describe in your essay. For example, okay, and uh, in the body paragraph part one, you are going to introduce advantages. Uh, you have planned in the pre-writing task, so at least include two main advantages in your body paragraph one. Okay, sentence one, just state two main advantages. For instance, boost in the destination country's economy and a large number of new job openings for the local people. And from sentence two to four, as explained the first advantage mentioned in the sentence one, together with an example if possible. You see, firstly, yeah, it's used to introduce the point listed. And here you see a lot of example uh, to spend money. Yeah on hotel, amusement, transportation, food, and medical services, etc. Uh, and from sentence 5 to 7, it's plain the second advantage and give an example. Secondly, uh, bringing new jobs for the local people. For instance, you see, uh, this is the introduction to uh, giving example in the sentence. And uh, for body paragraph 2, please introduce these advantages. Mm. State two main advantages. However, yeah, some major advantages like destruction of popular tourist destination and development of illegal economy activity. You see, two main advantages are mentioned here. And uh, from Sentence 2 to 4 in the body paragraph 2, explain the first advantage, give an example. So this is the explanation plus example for instance when people, when places of interest, yeah, etc. And uh, from sentence 5 to 7, explain the second advantage and go and give an example. What's more? Okay. And uh, from sentence eight, make an action on your opinion. Uh, so in this essay writing, to tourism has more advantages. So uh, advantages of tourism outweighs its drawbacks. Okay, you see here. Uh, if uh, the local government uh, manage the hospitality and uh, use the tourism when revenue uh, wisely, uh, this can lead to the elimination of disadvantages. That is the best solution. And uh, the last Part conclusion from sentence one to two just briefly state the advantages and disadvantages and the two conclude is used to introduce uh, the uh, your conclusion. Okay. You can read uh, the example at home. 
I can't read them all for you because uh, time is limited for recording this video. I don't make to want it longer and um, sentence to give your final opinion. Okay. In the conclusion part. And this is the whole essay writing sample of pros and cons of tourism. Okay, this is so nicely write, written essay. And uh, you should also know the link and connector which is so necessary to use in your essay writing. For example, to introduce point, you can use one major advantage or disadvantage or a further advantage, one point of, of you in favor of and to, to list point can use in the first place, first of all, secondly, thirdly, finally, last but not least, and uh, to add more points to the same topic. Uh, and just what is more, furthermore, in addition to this additionally, not to mention the fact that desires and to make contrasting idea between good and bad, okay, that is called contrasting idea. You can see white and black. Uh, on the one hand, it's good. On the other hand, white is bad, okay. However, inspire, despite, yeah. And uh, to introduce example, uh, we can use, uh, for example, for instance, like, especially such as in particular, namely, yeah. And to conclude, as you just sum up all in all, all things consider in conclusion, or the whole take everything into account, yeah. And this is tip to consider before you write, make a list of all the points for pros and cons of the topic before you start. This is for the pre-writing test. You have to list uh, three, at least three advantages and at least three disadvantages. And then uh, tip two, uh, make sure the point uh, you write are well supported with uh, examples or reasons. And, uh, do not use informal style in writing like contraction, colloquial language, or strong language. For example, I firmly believe. Okay. And the last part, don't forget to cite all the sources you use to find the information. And here is your homework. Please write about the advantages and disadvantages of Facebook. Thank you so much.